Hello, my friend. This is your boy, Colton Havens, where you come to get your brain food, baby. First time on my video, make sure you subscribe, okay? What is your money blueprint, okay? What do I mean by this? So I've been to uh, lots of different seminars and all this great stuff, but what I have learned the best was from the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kawasaki and also from my online biz. But So it's crazy. So you actually have this thing called a financial IQ and I didn't really realize what this was and uh, it's crazy where you get your financial IQ from right everybody talks about IQ IQ but we actually have this IQ in our head so let me give you and just kind of tell you where we get our um, money blueprint from we get it from our parents Okay, because money is not taught in school or anywhere else unless you go out and you get it. And anytime you go get uh, education about money, it's going to cost money, which is why a lot of people don't buy it, which doesn't make sense because the rich pay for the right education. Okay, with that being said, um, with that being said, most people don't know anything about money at all. Okay, when was the last time you Googled how does money work? So we all assume money works just like, you know, here it is, I want this for that, right? That's the bare minimum of the exchange that money works. Go deeper. I, I challenge you to go deeper. Google how does money work, something that you have to have every single day in your life and you've never Googled how it works. I remember when I did, I was like, oh, ding, you know, it just blew my mind. I was like, shit, why am I working so hard for this if there's so much? Okay, the first thing we need to know is that there's an abundance amount of money. They're printing millions and millions of dollars a day. A day, my friend. There's trillions of dollars available for like all over trillions. And you only need what, like 50 to 1,000 to 100,000 dollars a year to live comfortably to where all your bills are paid, take a few vacations, go do it around. So you're talking about a small, 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 small slice of what is available of the money that is out there in the world. Okay? Why are you working for pennies, my friend? There's a big chunk of money out there that's waiting for the right people. Okay? But this is where we get our financial IQ. We get our financial IQ from our parents. Like I got mine before I started into sales, my financial IQ was horrible. And I, I'm not saying it's super phenomenal now. I mean, I don't have a billion dollars yet, but once I get there, I know I'll be there. You know what I mean? But like, um, but it just comes from what our parents. So mine came from, what am I, what am I made of money? Money doesn't grow on trees. These very cliche sayings are actually where you get your money blueprint. There's a great book called The Millionaire Mindset and he talks about his dad was a builder. So there'd be times when his dad was building and his dad would be like, no, I don't got any money and his dad would be super upset and then they would uh, get done building and then dad would have a lot of cash and dad would be like, oh yeah, yeah, man, yeah, you can buy that, we can buy that, we can buy that. And then he'd come to the family and be like, hey, we're gonna build again. And him as a kid was like, damn it. I know this pattern, I know this cycle, okay? Some of you, your money blueprint is if you get 100, you spend 100. Some of you money blueprint is dad has all the money, or mom has all the money, or they both have the money, okay? So we grow up with these mentalities that we actually get in our head. And what we can actually do is we can either completely change it, because they're all limiting beliefs. Like I just said, I'm not made of money. You know, if you're if you're worried about money, if you're worried about the income, you're probably working hourly right now. That's just kind of how it works because there's only 168 hours in a week, and if you're getting paid hourly, even if you were to work 24/7, 365, you have a cap on how much money you can make. And so in your mind, you naturally go like, "Dude, $200. I don't know where else I could get another $200." But that might be the exact reason why you are on this video right now because you're trying to create different avenues of money to come in. And your money blueprint, your money beliefs are actually what are stopping you. Some people think money is the root of all evil. I know that my grandpa, I remember, dude, so I remember one summer, I spent all summer with my grandpa. So my grandpa is a freaking hard worker, okay? This dude is like 75 right now as I'm making this video. And he's up at 5 a.m., he's out working, um, on a farm doing physical labor until 8 p.m. to 9 o'clock at night. And well, except for around now, 
the he, he works till dark, okay? Before sunrise and after sunrise, this dude is out there working and grinding. And I remember one summer I was working with him all summer, and uh, he's over in Grand Jun over in. Uh, uh, Montrose, Colorado, and we're up in Cimarron. So they have an hour drive from where he works to where he lives. And on this road, there's a lot of people driving back and forth. And there was cars on the side of the road all summer long. And my grandpa stopped at every single one and helped them out. He's a handyman. Um, I remember more than one time my grandpa would help out these people, give them water for their air conditioners. He'd physically get down on his hands and knees, change a tire for them. Then they would give him a hundred dollar bill and my grandpa would say, no thank you. I grew up with a family of six kids living on a farm that we used to survive off. I was like, Grandpa, give me the money. I was probably less than 10 at that point. And I'm like, yo, give me that. And for me seeing like no and then money being shamed when you talked about it, like even to this day, I was just going to a convention on this trip with my family and I was with my mom and mom's like, do you always talk about money? And I was like, well, no, not always, but I feel like we should talk about it because it's an important thing to have. And when you don't talk about it and you act like it's Voldemort, then you never learn more about it and you, you are a cripple to the things that we don't know, okay? And if it's something that we have to use every single day, even your baby is affected by it, why haven't you learned more about it? Why haven't you dived deeper into it, okay? So what ends up happening once we learn this and you kind of get further into this money and how it kind of works and how a lot of it is just the way we think about it is a reason why we don't have it. So if you hate money, you don't have any money. If you love money, okay, there's a difference between loving money and helping people and loving money and using people, okay? So like, so you gotta, no, sorry, loving people and using money versus using people and loving money. That's the quote you wanted, okay? There's a big difference between that, okay? But if you're not money focused, you won't have any. So like, it's kind of this little gray area, okay? It's not black or white, it's this little gray area. No, it's important, but it's not everything, okay? It's a big factor with this. But once you start developing these new skills and this stuff, so like when I started getting into sales, so what happens with a lot of people is growing up, say like your dad gives you $100, you go spend that exact $100. If your dad was to give you $2,000, you'd go spend that $2,000, figure out a way to spend that. Then there's some people you give them $2,000 and they don't spend any of it, okay? And they use it to invest and then the portfolio builds and stuff like that. Those people are very far and few, obviously, because they, they took the time to develop and see how money works. Your, your money is a lot like a thermometer in your house, okay? That's, um, so, it's, it's like a thermometer. If you were to get a million dollars a day, you probably wouldn't have it in five years. You'd probably be either dead, broke, or in jail. Because that's what happened to people that win the, win the lottery. Because their financial IQ, their financial thermostat wasn't ready to receive a million dollars. So when they got a million dollars, they didn't know what to do with the money and it ate them up. And they just fell into either bad habits or more debt. Okay, that's why you see professional basketball players earn a lot of money and then don't earn a lot of money because their financial thermostat was never turned up. They never decided to learn more about the, one of the most important things they got to use every day. Okay, so uh, make sure that you guys go get this book if you want to build an online business. Um, it's free down in the comments, Expert Secrets down there. Also, you get a 15-day training course on how to build a digital marketing business and earn unlimited income from anywhere in the world. If that's something you're down for, um, I got a 15-day challenge down there for you at coltonhavens.com slash welcome. Go get it. Start today and pick up a book because just like you got to bathe and just like you got to eat, you got to get your brain food every day. I love y'all. Peace.